guys welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen today I have a prepper pantry haul uh, from Walmart got a lot of preps on the table today I'm excited about uh, getting them put up and put in my pantry y'all keep on stacking keep on keeping on y'all now's not the time to stop um, there's a lot going on in the world, um, and we don't know what scenario is going to play out. We've got the, um, we could possibly be going into World War III. We could possibly be going into a Cold War. Um, the supply chain is a mess, and it was going to be even harder to get items if we end up in a Cold War, especially with China, y'all. We get so, so much from China. Um, you know, we're already in a Cold War with Russia. We're not getting nothing out of Russia anymore. There's our wheat gas and things like that um, of course some of those come from other places but y'all it's very important no matter what scenario plays out and trust and believe one of those is going to play one of those scenarios is going to play itself out um, so we definitely definitely need to have food and products that you use on a regular basis um, that you're going to need um, already in your home on hand because it, we don't know. It, it could be. It could be an, a great depression. We could be. Uh, there could be soup lines. There could be. We just don't know. So please, please, y'all, stack it to the rafters. Don't stop. And a great way to stack it to the rafters, y'all, is right there. Dehydrating food. You can put so much more food on your shelf if you just dehydrate it. And if you can have fresh. Fresh vegetables like you wouldn't have if, like you're not going to have cabbage if you don't dehydrate it. If it gets so bad out there and um, we do, you know, a lot of people are not going to be able to farm or or the farm, you, you just don't know. So y'all get to dehydrating yet. Yeah, get to dehydrating. All right. <laughs> I don't mean to be preaching at you. Let's get into this video. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start right here. Y'all remember last week. When I talked to y'all about my grocery outlet haul, I told you there was something missing from the table and they were some instant mashed potatoes. Well, here they are, y'all. I got them back from over at my niece's today. Um, these are the Honest Earth Creamy Mashed Potatoes. It's eight servings and there's only three ingredients in here. It's potatoes, butter, and salt. Um, yes, the butter will make these where they don't last as long as um, the ones without but these still last uh, quite some time. And for me, it's worth it to me. Like I said, these are only 50 cents. It's worth it for me for the butter to already be in there in a situation when I run out of butter, it, I'm gonna be so glad that I've had bought but the ones with butter in it. So um, yeah, and, and that reminds me y'all, don't forget to get your ghee canned up and get it on yourself too. I have a video for that, so I'll check it out. All right, also y'all, um, let's go ahead and get the dehydrating stuff out of the way. This is what I'm going to be doing this week. I got a big bag of this broccoli florets. This is the bird's eye brand. Uh, um, this is this is five, uh, 52 ounces. This is a three pound bag. Also, as you've seen already, I have cabbage over here. I got two more heads. Um, I just got through doing two heads a few days ago. But um, my big pickle jar, that's the one that I use that I'm in and out of. That's the one I don't put oxygen absorbers in or anything. That's the one I get in and out of. So it's almost empty. So I'm going to refill it back up. If you want to make it last 10 to 30 years, put some oxygen absorbers or put it on your um, vacuum sealer. So I'm going to be dehydrating cabbage. I picked up two of those. I'm going to be dehydrating more veg mixed vegetables because... Like I said, the mixed vegetables and the cabbage are what I use. I use these multiple times a week. So these are going down. I got three of those. Those were just, I think, two twenty-four bag, something like that. Also back here in the back, I picked up four packs. Got that upside down. Four packs of these uh, white sliced mushrooms. Those are going on the dehydrator. I'm probably going to do a video on the mushrooms, so be on the lookout for that. Um, you all already know how to do the, um, the mixed vegetables, and you already know how to do the cabbage, y'all. So, okay, let's start right here. Because I love salads, and um, I didn't have any lettuce. I picked up an iceberg lettuce right here, and I picked up some, uh, the three romaine hearts, um, rom uh, romaine hearts lettuce. I also picked up a loaf of the whole wheat. This is the... Oh, I got to turn around. So sorry, y'all. I'm kind of like all over the place in this video. I got um, a loaf of the 100% whole wheat 
round top bread. This is a great value brand. Um, and I also got the honey wheat. And this is also the great value brand. Y'all, those got smashed. <laughs> it's my own fault. Yes, my own fault. Um, they got smashed in my car. Um, I'm the one that rang it up. I'm the one that bagged it up. I'm the one that put it in the car, so it's my fault. So anyway, but we'll eat it. Also over here, I have um, the Nissan Chow Mein Shrimp Flavor Noodles. Y'all, I was able to, y'all know the noodles I love, 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 and that's the beef flavor of these. Well, if there's anything that I love more than the beef flavor, it's the shrimp flavor. I hauled these one time on my previous channel. I got them, found them at the Dollar General, y'all. I loved it. It is my absolute favorite, and it has a totally different flavor. Totally, it's totally different than the beef flavor. I loved it, y'all. When I went back to find more, I couldn't find it anywhere. Dollar General, Walmart, nowhere until today. So I got two cases of, oh well, no, I didn't. I got 12. I got one and a half cases. Or well, just under two cases. I got 12 total. All right. Also, I picked up, because you know, I love my coffee. I got two more of my coffees to add to my stockpile. One's to add to and one's to replace. Um, these are the 12 ounce, 12 ounce containers. These used to be $7.77. These are $8 and some change now. I think they're $8.77 or $8.88, something like that. Yeah, that's a huge hike. I picked up two rows of these 93.7 um, lean ground beef. Um, I'm, I'm going to take these and I'm cutting them in half. Um, it don't take tons of meat to make spaghetti and meat sauce. It don't take tons of meat to make hamburger helper or tons of meat to make macaroni and cheese and hamburger. So I'm going to stretch it, y'all. We're This was almost $6. It was five something. Almost $6 a pound. So you know what? They're going to the half pounders. I'm sectioning those up. Also, Van Camp is my favorite chili. I like prefer it without, but I always seem to find it with the beans. So I love that too. I picked up six more cans of this. This is something that is a great meal stretcher as well, you guys. Take some of this. Also, that hot dog sauce, y'all, that is so cheap. Um, you could take a can of that, throw a can of diced tomatoes in it, get you some um, pasta, mix it together, and you got chili mac. Or you could do the same thing with these, but these, these could be a complete meal. So I prefer to use the chili mac, but I will do both if I had to. All right, and back here behind the chili, I have two great value beef broths to add to my pantry. I have four of the great value chicken. Everything's falling apart, y'all. And I picked up, y'all know I love these. These are these are a great way uh, to thicken um, thicken things to give it a creamy, a good just a creaminess to make sour cream, to make, um, you can make dips out of it. There's so much you could use with these Nestle Media creamers. Um, so I picked up three more of these. These were $1.88 a piece. I picked up two more of these Denty Moore beef stews. It could either feed, depending on how big of an eater you are, two people, one person, or you could even turn this and feed four people, five people by adding rice to it. Or even pasta, put some pasta with it. And a packet of gravy. There you go. Also back here, I picked up a great value grated Parmesan cheese. Um, yeah, I needed one of those. And to go with my coffee, y'all know I'm stocking. I'm not, I don't plan to have to go without coffee. Eventually, when it all runs out, I'll be going without. But I'm hoping it's going to be quite some time. I picked up another one of these 60 ounces. This is 3 pounds, 12 ounces of the great value brand creamer. Y'all, in a pinch, these creamers... That you put like these powder creamers for your coffee work great for milk. You can make milk to use in your recipes. All kinds of things that these are good for. So yeah, even if you don't like cream in your coffee, this is a cheaper way to me than, than uh, the powder milk. Although I do have powder milk and I tend to, to prep it right along with the Gossner. Gossner is my favorite, y'all. They're my favorite. <laughs> but anyway, you know, you can prep some of this uh, creamer too. Because that's just another way. I picked up two more of the creamy mashed potatoes. Um, again, like I said down there, it's got butter in them. And um, I picked them up with butter because that's the way I like them. I picked up two cans of the Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs um, to add to my prepper pantry. I don't have a lot of those, so I'm, I'm gonna try to, to uh, up my game on those. I do have grandchildren. And um, when things go down, you can best believe my family's coming here. 
um because they're not prepping you know where else they gonna go <laughs> so i gotta prep for them so i'm gonna up my game on these for my grandchildren because they love those i picked up some salad mixes over here because like i said over here i like salads so i want to make sure i have those i told you about my cabbage I think I've told you about everything. I don't. Maybe I didn't mention the fi uh, microfiber towels back there. There's 32 a pack, and those were $9.99. Lots of uses for those. Um, I told you about the broccoli. Um, I picked up another pack of these great tomatoes. I love those in my salads, or just to pop one in my mouth and um, eat those. And here we go. Didn't tell you about the jelly. I grabbed two of the Concord Grape gel, uh, Jams. Y'all, I prefer the jam over the jelly. It just smooth, uh, spreads smoother, and I just prefer it. So, yeah, y'all, that's what I picked up today. Trying to get, trying to stack it to them rafters, y'all. Trying to fill things in. Um, I'm going to continue on. Like, I need more chili. I need more beef stew. I need... There's a lot of things I need more of. I just don't have the money to go out and purchase them all at once. Um... A wise person told me that they uh, usually, if they need 10 of something, that they usually get um, 10 and then move on to the next thing. That's a, <laughs> that's a great way of doing things, and it's very wise. Maybe it's um, going to keep me uh, more on track. But my scatterbrain, this just seems how I do it when I hit the store, so this is what I do. But y'all, keep on out, going on out there. Keep on keeping on. Y'all, please give me a thumbs up. You know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Leave your comments, y'all, because of things that you're prepping. Help people, you know, if you're prepping odd items that people tend to forget about. Not necessarily odd items, but easily forgotten items. Um, mention them in the comments. This is a sharing, caring community, y'all. Um, yeah, I want to give a shout out um, to um, Van City um, Prepping. Um, thank you so much for the coffee coaster. I love it. Y'all, if you haven't checked her out, go ahead and go on over and check her out. I really appreciate it. Um, she's a really kind person. So give her a check out. She's um, from Canada, and she has a lot of great um, videos to share. Uh, all right, y'all. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to get on out of here, let y'all get on with your day. This video, oh my goodness, is already 12 and a half minutes long. All right, y'all. Keep on keeping on. I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.